Okay, so here's my version of Gary 104's portable bazooka antenna. Um, very, very simple to make. I think it took me 45 minutes from start to finish. Um, it's the first one I've ever made. I'm by no means an expert. I'm just starting out in the hobby. Um, so if I can do it, you can certainly do it. Um, as I say, um, there's a guy on YouTube, Gary104, um, who's done numerous videos on portable radio use. Um, and this was this was where I got the idea. This is the design I followed. Um, so thanks to him for putting that up. Um, it's very, very simple. It's RG58 coax cable. This is the low loss stuff. Um, about 90-95% outer braid, which is what you want to be using really. Um, don't use the cheap stuff. It's not worth it. I actually bought um, a 100 meter roll of this um, because I've got other projects that I quite like to do and it only cost me, I think it was £40 from eBay. Um, yeah, so very, very good. Um, we'll start from the top. You've got the inner portion of the coax here um, with the inner inner conductor in, in there. You probably can't see it very well. Um, there's three meters length of the inner. Uh, dielectric, I believe it's called. Um, so there's three meters of that there. This blue portion um, is the outer braid of the coax. Um, it's blue because I've covered it in heat shrink, uh, just to protect it from the elements, basically. And uh, a bit of extra wrapping there, where the inner goes into the outer, just to keep the water out, the rain, and anything else that you might encounter when you're out and about. I used heat shrink. You can use self amalgamating tape, whatever you whatever you can do really to to keep the weather away. I used heat shrink because I had it in stock. So yeah, it does a nice job, nicely sealed. Um, there's a join there because I only had it in um, one one meter. I think it was one and a half meter length length, um, and there's one point eight meters there of of the outer. Um, if you're going to join it, make sure you put the lower part part on first. Put the top piece over the top of that so if there is any water running down there it will run down over the top and won't won't get in hopefully we then move on to what i understand is called an ugly ballon or rf choke um, again very simple to make it's just five turns there's five turns there of coax cable taped together you can wind it around you know waste pipe soil pipe um, that there is um, four and a quarter inches just taped together, I wound it around an old plastic tube and then took it out, you can leave the plastic tube in as long as it's non-conductive I believe that that will be fine um, as I say I'm by no means an expert my first go didn't come out too bad for the first go from what I can see should do the job nicely um, just held together with a bit of electrical tape so again nothing too expensive there and then that just follows on down to the rest of the cable um, which can trail off to your to your radio wherever you are. You can run it down into your vehicle. Um, you know, there's there's plenty of cable there. 14 meters in length um, from start to finish. So from the very top to the very bottom is 14 meters. Um, that should be plenty long enough for for anything you're going to do. So that's it basically. Just wanted to pop up a vid to show that it can be done. Even when it's your first time, um, just follow the, you know, you follow the uh, the instructions. It's it's very simple to do, um, you know, and yeah, give it a go yourself. Um, you will need some kind of mast um, or pole to put it up on. Um, the higher the better, I believe. Depends obviously where you are. If you're up on a hill or something, if you're quite high, then you'll be okay. But yeah, you will need some kind of non-conductive pole. Um, I've got myself a, um, a carbon fibre um, measuring pole, which will, I'll show you in another vid. Once I have this all uncoiled, I'll do another vid just to show how i done it. As I say, I got this idea from Gary104. His um, YouTube channel is, um, I think it's CBUKTV, um, so well worth a look. If you're getting into the hobby and you want some ideas, a great place to start. Also go to um, charlietango.co.uk, great little forum for anyone who's into radios um, of any kind really, um, very friendly, very helpful, I say I've joined up um, and it's been, yeah, I've 
asked a few questions and always got a good answer. So yeah, nice bunch of chaps on there. Uh, well worth a visit. That's charlietango.co.uk. Um, yeah, so I'll catch you on the next vid.